What if you decide to start counting all the way up to one tredecillion? A tredecillion is one followed by 42 zeros. To reach it, you would pass thousands, millions, billions, trillions, then quintillions, sextillions, octillions, decillions, and only then would you arrive at tredecillion. So how long would counting it actually take? Imagine you can count one number per second. No mistakes, no sneezing or coughing mid-count. At that speed, counting to tredecillion takes one tredecillion seconds, already far longer than the age of the universe. But big numbers take longer to say. You cannot say 456 sextillion 231 quintillion in one second. You can try, but you won't. Realistically, counting averages closer to one number every eight seconds. At that rate, counting to tredecillion would take about 2.5 tredecillion years. For comparison, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. If you had started counting at the Big Bang, you would not even be one trillionth of one trillionth of one percent of the way there. And that's assuming you never sleep. Sleep alone deletes a third of your time. Eating deletes more. Forcing out a poo on the toilet deletes more. Realistically, you would only count half the day. This doubles the time taken to count to tredecillion. But time isn't the real problem. Attention is. So let's remove distractions entirely. Imagine sealing our counter Bob alone in a room so he doesn't get distracted by any things around him, counting out loud. From here on, the limiting factor is biology. A resting human consumes roughly 250 milliliters of oxygen per minute. In a sealed room, oxygen levels would slowly drop while carbon dioxide builds up. Long before oxygen runs out, rising CO2 would cause dizziness, confusion, loss of concentration, and eventually unconsciousness. Even in a reasonably large sealed room, this would happen in hours, not days. At one number every eight seconds, that means Bob would reach around 3,000 numbers before collapsing. But let's cheat again and assume Bob can breathe forever in this sealed room with no distractions. Now the only limit is the mind. This kind of environment would closely mirror extreme sensory deprivation. Studies show endless repetition with no stimulation leads to boredom, anxiety, distorted time, and eventually a psychological breakdown. So this task would become mentally unbearable long before the numbers mattered. If we assume that Bob could endure this mix of isolation and repetition for around three days before a psychological breakdown sets in, Bob would only reach roughly 32,000 before his mind gives out. And even if Bob somehow survived forever, boredom-proof, immortal, still weirdly committed, the universe would still run out first. At eight seconds per number, Bob counts about four million per year. Even if he kept going until the last stars burned out, he'd only reach around 400 quintillion. That's not even close, unfortunately. So, how long would it take to count to tredecillion? Longer than the universe has existed, longer than it ever will, and much longer than any human can stay conscious.